I've got a vintage hoe that needs to be refurbished, refinished, restored. That's the word today. Welcome back to another one. Yes, I got a little bit of a cold. Uh, something a little different today. First, we're going to check out the garden. We've been harvesting tomatoes like nobody's business. Second, I've got a vintage hoe that needs... I've got a garden utensil that needs to be refurbished, refinished, restored. That's the word today. <laughs> restored. We're going to get it out. We're going to restore it and put a new handle on it. Let's have a look at the garden real quick. So the peppers are doing good. Tomatoes and our watermelons. Some more peppers. Those look uh, a little sad. Let's go to tomatoes. Like I said, we got more tomatoes than we know what to do with. But I've been canning some tomatoes and whatnot, so we're making good use of them. Beans are doing well. It's an odd looking pepper right there. You may be asking yourself why we plant so many tomatoes. We love tomatoes. But we planted them from seed, the seeds that I harvested last year. You never know which ones are going to take and which ones are not. So if you were back in the beginning when we started doing the planting, we had a lot of tomato plants and just didn't want to waste them. So we planted them and what takes takes and what doesn't, you move on. Anyway, that's a quick look at the garden. Let's get the table set up here so that we can get a couple tools out, get ready to refinish this. This is what I'm talking about here. Very heavy. We've got to pop these pins out soon, but it's going to work. Okay, guys. So the idea, real quick, is we got the flapper wheel. We're going to take the rust off of here. Not damage the metal at all. We got clamped to the table. The other thing that I'm going to do is I said we're going to put a new handle on it. See up in here. That's some uh, oak hardwood there. Just strip some paint off of that. I'm going to put a new handle on this thing. This is one side. This is where we're at here. It's going to take a lot to get that down. I think the metal's harder than I think it is, but get this side knocked off. We're going to flip it over and do the other side. Once I get this here done, I'll bring it back. All right, we got most of the heavy rust knocked off. Quite a quite a bit of pocking. That's all right though. We'll get we'll get past that. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna try and drill out these studs so that we can work on the handle.
Jesus. All right, got the pins out. That was easy. All right, so here's where we're at. We got quite a bit of the rust knocked off. We got the old wood handle out. These were the uh, old school pins holding them in. We had to cut them off. But here, we got our wooden dowel, our piece of hardwood. I'm gonna cut this, no specific length. I'll probably just cut this a little over half. So we'll have maybe about five feet of handle and then the blade, see how that works. We'll get this cut. Then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna shape it to go into the handle. So we gotta try to figure out how much handle is actually going to go into this piece right here. All right, so we're roughly here to here going in the handle. So now we're gonna taper this off. Two ways to do this. We're gonna try this way first. See if this works any faster or more efficient. Guys, so the belt sander is obviously the ticket when it comes to whittling this down. Here's where we're at. So that'll get pressed in there about another half an inch. It'll be in there tight. We'll run a bolt through here, one through there. That'll hold it on tight. Now we got to take paint off of here. Put a nice round end down there. All right, here's where we're at. We got most of the paint off of here. We just got a little bit left. Just got to get a final sanding and then a finish put on here. But here's where we're at here. This has got to be done some more, obviously. But we got most of it all knocked off. I got to go out and run some errands. Tackle this again when we come back home. Well, good morning. It is obviously the next day. Things got a little busy yesterday. Uh, Jen is hard at it out in the garden. She's uh, getting rid of all the dead stuff here. Check out all the tomatoes. We have more tomatoes than we know what to do with right now. Fuck, well, we know what to do with them, but just getting it done. Anyway, we're back to this here. I figured out, pretty sure I figured out yesterday what this is. I thought it was a gardening tool, a hoe, or something of that nature. I don't believe it is. I believe this is a spade for taking shingles off a roof because it is heavy. It may be way too heavy to be swinging in the garden. Also, the closer we look at this, it is damaged pretty bad. It would take a lot of sanding and grinding and then it would lose its weight, which I don't want it to lose its weight. Now we look at the other side here. It's really pocked up here. I mean, the front of the blade itself isn't in too bad a shape. We can sharpen that up. But 
If I start sanding on that anymore, we're just going to lose the weight. And we don't want to lose the weight because I want to keep it as a spade. So we've got it sanded down right now. Pretty smooth. It looks pretty good. Uh, we're going to put a coat of trim clad on it to try and help keep the rust down. And then we're going to finish the handle. All right, we're gonna let that dry up. It's a matte black finish. Flat black, matte black. Either way, means the same thing. Now, I'm gonna put it on there, put a couple coats on there, but put it up fairly thick. I did tape off the bottom, as you saw, down here. Because I'm gonna sharpen an edge on that. Plus, it'll give me a nice line to see. In the meantime, we gotta work on the handle. Now, it's long, and it seems extra long I thought about shortening it and I thought it'd be good to have the extra leverage when you're when you're scraping on a roof so I'm gonna leave it that long worst case scenario I can always shorten it you <laughs> can't add back to it but you can always shorten it so let's get the oil up while we're waiting for that to dry we're gonna oil this up all right here we go we got some minwax tongue oil Oop. Easy, easy. Come on now, easy. Not bad, not bad. I'm just putting this on with a paper towel. You see where it's got a little bit of the paint left on there. I'm not overly concerned about that. <laughs> I'm not uh, making a showpiece here. So it's something to protect the handle a little bit while it sits. All right, we got this here done. Could I have done a better job on this? Yeah, I could have, but I'm planning on using this. It's not a wall hanger. So we're gonna turn this over. We're gonna put this coat on this side here. This side dried up nicely. We'll see how this side turns out. And we'll go from there. Alright, so the paint is dry. Well, ish. On our spade. What we're going to do now is we're going to put the handle in. I got this fancy bolt. As you know, my pot passed a few months ago. Left me all his nuts and bolts and screws and tools. And this was in there. So that's... It's like a male and a female... We're going to use it to go through the side here to hold the handle on. Go straight across. That's the other side. See this piece here, so it comes apart. I need to get this through there and this through here. Just had to give it the whole stretcher 9000. Oh, there she goes! There she goes. We can make that work. Just had to bring out the persuader. 
there for there. All right, here's our problem. Einstein here thought he had a good idea. The problem is when this goes together, this bottoms out down here and it leaves way too much screw sticking out. Try something different. Scavenge through some parts. Now this is just the male end of that one there. As you can see, it comes all the way through. that on there it doesn't look as pretty but come on I am just having to improvise screwed on all right well maybe the paint wasn't really dry it's all right it's all right All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's project. Like I said, it's a roofing spade. Has to be just because of the weight on it. We'll put a slight edge on this if we want. We got our bolt, improvised bolt holding the handle on. And we got our oak dowel handle, which we've oiled up. But like I said, this is not a wall hanger, guys. So if you're losing your mind over me not completely refinishing the metal down to a smooth mirror finish, I want to use it. So if I spend all that time taking it down to a mirror finish and then I take it up on a roof or use it for something and next thing you know it's all scratched to hell and kind of wasted my time. And if I was going to hang it on a wall, by all means. But I'm not. I plan on using it. And that, that blade itself has been sitting in my corner shed here for probably two or three years. I might as well use it for something. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed that. Just putting around out in the yard trying to get some stuff done and... Winter times are coming. It's a coming. See you on the next one. Oh, hit that subscribe button while you're here. We love to have you along. We just surpassed 4,000 subscribers thanks to you folks. And uh, on to five. See ya. Second, I've got a vintage hoe that needs. I've got a garden utensil. It needs to be refurbished, refinished, restored. That's the word today, <laughs> restored. We're gonna get it out, we're gonna restore it, and put a new handle on it. 